All right, so Jaden recently released Cool Tape Volume 3 Day Trippers Edition. Now, it's not a deluxe, it's not a new album, it's just a project. It's some old songs, some new songs, some remixes. You got the whole works here with, with this album. We'll call it an album in this video. Cool Tape 3 Day Trippers Edition. Just about a year, actually, I think three, 364 days after Cool Tape Volume 3, the original mixtape came out last year. Now, the original mixtape, I actually loved. I loved that mixtape. I do like Jaden's rapping better. Um, I do like Sire, Iris, the rapping style better than this kind of pop R&B rap mix. That's really what this is. This album is a little different. This um, Day Trippers Edition version of Cool Tape Volume 3 is different. We'll get into this in a second, but Cool Tape Volume 3, the original version, was like really a mix of just rap, a lot of pop, R&B, like psychedelic music as well. Um, I did like it though. I thought that style was very well executed on that project, and some of the rapping was very good. I think some of the pop songs like Fallen For You, um, even Photograph, very, very, very good. The intro circa 2015 was very good. Um, songs like Rainbow Bap, Endless Summer, um, Birth of Sire, very, very good. Very catchy, very good sounding, just a very good sounding project in my opinion. Very enjoyable. And I think even though it's a love album, a love themed album from start to finish, I think it's, even if you're not like fall in love, that album, I mean, it it hits better, it sounds better when you are falling in love. Um, even if you're not, it does sound pretty good though. And I, I, it still does sound pretty good, even if it doesn't resonate with you from start to finish. But that kind of, I don't know, that, that's kind of one of the, of the issues I have here. Um, the title of this video, I'm pretty sure, is CTV3 Day Trippers Edition is dot dot dot. Now, I have struggled to formulate an opinion on this project so far. Um, I've listened to it all the way through plenty of times, and I thought it was time for the review. I didn't want to wait any longer. But I have struggled to form an exact opinion on this project. Now, this sound on the Day Trippers Edition is a little different from the original version. Um, one thing I must say is these songs on here do sound like throwaways. A lot of them do. They do sound like B-sides. This does sound like the B-side to the original project. It sounds like, or the, the songs on here sound like they are songs that didn't make the cut of the original album. Um, however, some of them still are great songs. One of my favorites being the single, Bye. Bye is an amazing song. Bye is easily, easily the best song on here. And in my opinion, should have made, I don't know if it was made a, a few months ago, made, you know, after the, the album. But if, if this was made before, before CTV3 dropped the original version last year, it should have made the original album or the original mixtape. Uh, Bye is an amazing song, an amazing beat switch, amazing vocal inflections, amazing vocals um, throughout the entire song. The, the beat fits perfectly with the, with the the vocals and the, the auto tune on there. Everything comes together very nicely on Bye. I, I love Bye. It's a very, very nice song. One of the issues I have with this album and you can say it also about CTV3, the original version as well, is the time of year that he, that, that, that he released it. The, he released the single Summer. I talked about it in the reaction, I think, a week before, or two weeks before this album came out. And it was like mid-August. And then this album comes out at the end of August, the 27th, I'm pretty sure it came out on. And it's, it's, it's a summer sounding album. There's summer songs on here. Endless Summer. Summer. Two different songs. But, and um, the album has that summer sound. That slower summer sound. But he releases it at the end of August. I mean, at the end of August, it's pretty much fall time already. I mean, the other, the original album came out at the end of August as well. Um, that one had, like, Stain Power. I think it'll have better, it had better staying power than this album will or the the songs on here the, the newer ones however um i think the original version will have better staying power for me but both of them but this one in specific why, why did why did he release it at the end of summer you've got you released the single summer at the end of summer this should have been released in may or june this would have been an amazing album to listen to all summer long but 
I barely even want to listen to it now because it, it's that summer sound. But it's not summer anymore. It's fall and it's going to be winter in a couple months. It's going to be snowing in a month and a half, two months. You know, it's that summer sound and I barely want to listen to it now. That's my biggest issue with this project. I know it doesn't have to have to do with the sound and the actual music itself, but this should have been released earlier in the summer. I think end of May, early June, maybe even early May or the middle of May. It would have been an anthem and a great, just a great album for the summer. Same thing with the original version of CTV3. Would have been great for summer. You know, I feel like Iris which was released in July, on July 5th in 2019, should have been released in the winter. And these albums, CTV3, the, the original version, and this version should have been or should have been released earlier in the summer. I think I think late May, early, very early June would have been the perfect release date for these albums. But um, getting that out of the way, into the going into into the, into the actual music now. I'm thinking that this review might be kind of long, but it is what it is. Um, I do enjoy this project, but not as much as I as I would have liked to enjoy it. Um, like I said, the, the track by the, the the single by an amazing song, the best song on here for sure. Um, but in this review, we are not judging the the songs that were already on CTV3, the original version, which I think are just "Fallen for You" with Justin Bieber, amazing song. I'm not gonna really go in too in depth with these songs though. "Fallen for You," Justin Bieber, great song. Muted Sunrise, great song. It's actually grown on me since I since this album dropped, because I've just I've heard, I've um, turned this album on and listened to it all the way through, so I I just kept that song on. It's actually grown on me. But Muted Sunrise, Fallen for You with, with Justin Bieber. Um, and I'm I'm not gonna go too in depth on those songs. Circa 2013 on here is just Circa 2015 with like two lines changed. Um, so it's pretty much the same thing, the same sound. I'm. I'm fine with what he did on that track. He changed just a couple of the lyrics, but I'm totally fine with what 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 he did there. Not gonna judge it too much though, because it's pretty much the same song as the intro of circa 2015 from the original version of this album. The Birth of Sire Day Trippers edition. There's a few songs on here that are changed a little bit, and it's pretty much just the production. Um, they're changed just a little bit, um, and I think the, the changes are actually pretty good. It's Lucy which has changed as well as the birth of sire the birth of sire i actually do like i do like that change i think the birth of sire the original version is great but this this version being on a different album i do like that i do like having both versions i love the original one it's great but this one the end of it is just a good outro to the album um Jaden finds a tape in in a, in the the hills and then brings it to the police and then it's playing like like for 15 seconds 10 15 20 seconds of, of vocals from him talking about um the relationship that he talks about throughout the entire album um and the the, the cop is like surprised that, the, that he found it in the hills and and, and he's did just that last 30 40 seconds of him turning in that tape to the police is a decent touch to the album there's some nice slowed vocals in there as well but that is a nice touch to the album a nice new touch lucy the day trippers edition is pretty much just the production being changed a little bit not too much of a change but kind of unneeded in my opinion but i mean there's not too much to judge there it's just the, just the production being changed a little bit at the end maybe some more vocals but not nothing too much that i'm really gonna judge but there's not one version of the of the song, the original one or this one, that I really prefer over the other. But Lucy, overall, I do love I do love it. This version or the original version, I do love it. A great song. Cabin Fever is one more song that I forgot to mention that is on this album that was on the original version of this album last year. Cabin Fever, a great song. It was the single, the lead single last summer. It released in July, like I said before. Should have been released in like May, and the, and the album last year should have dropped in like May or June. But done with that but cabin fever a great song i don't want to go too in depth on it in this review though there's a couple remixes on here of songs that were on the album last year and those songs are endless summer and rainbow bap now i do prefer the original versions of these songs but the remixes are pretty decent i actually do like how they they changed these songs like completely added the features Jaden added changed verses extended the, the production these songs are longer i do like it um, Rainbow Bap is like five minutes long now, which I do like. I do like that that it, it is 
a little longer now. I think it's a decent touch, um, the, the remix to the album. Um, I do like the original version better, though. I think the, the original version is like a masterpiece, a great song. Um, but having it changed a little bit with some more verses, a different verse from Jaden, different lyrics, you know, change it a little bit, a different, a, a new feature, I think is a, a decent touch and something new, something different. Um, it's It kind of sticks to like, something that is I don't, not a theme but something that he that, that, that he did with this album kind of just threw all the b-sides and remixes and new stuff at here it was almost just i mean in my opinion just to release more music this this album um just to release more music you know you're getting a lot you know this this is an album for his fan base strictly for his fan base pretty much you know you, you got remixes songs that, that are changed just a little bit um, you got new songs, you got older songs, so just, so there's new material on here, whether it's just remixes or songs that, that are changed just a little bit, and there's also brand new songs, so, and some, some that were singled as well, but, you know, for his fan base, it's, it's some, some new stuff, whether it's, you know, brand new stuff or just remixes or, or, or whatever the case may be. The other remix is Endless Summer. I think it's a, a, a good remix, a good touch. Like I said, another another song for, for his fan base, um, one that I can come back to. I do like the original version better. The original version was just like Rainbow Bap, a masterpiece, a great song in my opinion, one of the best off the album. It's nice to get a remix though, something a little different, changed, you know, different verses, different, you know, vocals, auto-tune, different features, you know, it's, it's nice to have that though. Now my favorites of the new songs on here would definitely be what it is your voice slash bethel new york and uh the next track um i cannot remember the name of it um still in love so what it is your voice slash bethel new york and still in love the sixth seventh and eighth track on here definitely definitely my favorite stretch of new tracks and my favorite of the new tracks um these three my favorite is probably your voice slash bethel new york the, the acoustics on there are very good. I like Jaden's voice and vocal inflections on there. And the acoustics just sound very nice. Um, what it is has, has a decent hook, good sound, and good production as well. Still in Love has a nice, very mellow, mellow sound to it. I think it sounds nice, and the hook is pretty good as well on there. The sound on this album, I mean, is... And, you know, it sounds like the um, one of the brand new tracks on here, our psychedelic love story featuring Babe Rainbow. Um... It's psychedelic. A lot of the sound on here is slowed, psychedelic, and very mellow and relaxing. That's why it should have been released earlier in the summer so we so we could listen to it in the summer. This is not an album I'm going to come back to a lot in the winter. It, it's just not. I mean, I'll probably come back to it more, you know, March, April, May, when summer rolls around again and, and, and it's spring, you know, next year. But And, and I, I, I've, I've been listening to it a lot now. But, you know, it's not one that I'm going to listen to in, in November and December. Um, but our psychedelic love story is the the vocals are there, but they're like almost in the background. Um, but it, it's this song just sounds like the vocals and the production just all mixed t t together. You can't really make out what he's saying or what Babe Rainbow or Jaden are saying um, on the on the vocals at all. But it's it just sounds like they're going for a sound. And that sound is just the vocals and the um, beat mixed together. And it sounds pretty good. I, I do like the beat. The vocals are nice. It's just a relaxing song, really. Um, our psychedelic love story. It, I mean, it sounds like it sounds like that that's what they were going for. And I think they did a good job of that. Um, what it is, your voice, your voice slash, slash Bethel, New York. And then um, still in love. The um, the best stretch on this album, like I said, and um, my favorite, my favorite probably your vo or um, yeah, your voice slash Bethel New York acoustics, very well on there. Or very nice sound, very nice. A Keystrian, and I don't know how to say it. A Keystrian Trail Freestyle Number Two is very short. It's just like a minute long. Just sounds like an interlude, a short song he recorded. Summer is a very good song. It's nothing amazing. I dropped the reaction for it. Um, I'm not totally amazed by the song. Part of the reason why I can't get into it that much is because it's not summer anymore. He dropped it at the end of August. It's just, it doesn't feel like summer that much anymore. It should have been released in June or May or July. I don't want to listen to a song called Summer in the end of September. However, it is a good song. It's kind of short, but it's, it's a good song. I like it. I, I like what he does on there, and I do like the vocals as well. Vocals are pretty nice. Lyrics are decent. It's, it is a good song, though. I'm sure I'll come back to it when summer rolls around again. 
next year. Now, one of my issues on this album is some of the songs just don't provide a lot of content at all. Um, Santa Barbara, Laurel Canyon, We Were 15, just, I don't know, just, they don't, they've got that sound. They're sticking to that nice, slow, mellow, psychedelic sound, but I, I, I don't know what it is about them. It's just, there's not much content and there's just not much to, to listen to on there. It, it just, they're, they're nice and relaxing, which he, he did a good job of that, but I'm not getting much more besides that out of those songs, Santa Barbara and Laurel Canyon in, in specific. I'm not getting much out of those songs. They're just, I don't know, they're slow, like that psychedelic kind of style. I, I do like it, but I don't know. I feel like on those ones in specific, he, he, he could have done a little better on those ones for sure. Those are not my favorites on here. They're decent. I do like the sound on this album, but they're decent. And I think a Keystream Trail Freestyle number two and maybe our psychedelic love story would fall into that category as well as just, I see what you're going for. It's, it's, it could have been executed a little better. The sound is good, but there's not, there's just, there just isn't the content is just, isn't there. The content and the lyrics just aren't there. Overall as a project, I do like this. I think it's very enjoyable. I think, like I said, it, it, it's a project that he gave strictly to his fan base. It's strictly for his fan base. This is not an album. That th this is not anything near Sire, Iris, CTV3, the original version. It's nowhere near those songs, but it's evident that it that it is not is nowhere near those and it's supposed to be like that. I know that it's supposed to be like that. It's a it's just songs for his fan base in my opinion. You know, there's 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 longer ones on here. There is there's slower ones on here, there's faster ones on here, there's some more rapping. There's a lot of that psychedelic style. There's shorter songs on here. It gives you a lot. There's remixes. You know, there's older songs, newer songs. There's the singles by and summer, but he offers a lot on here. I do like it. Problems with it, it just it start. Some of the songs don't ha offer so much content, and they kind of start to sound the same, like a Keystream Trail Freestyle, Santa Barbara, Laurel Canyon, We, we Were 15. All kind of start to sound the same after a couple listens. Um, favorite songs on here, um, by definitely by. I'm not going to include any of the old tracks, um, but I'm only going only going to include the newer ones. By Cabin, well, Cabin Fever is an older one. By Summer, Still in Love, Your Voice, Slash Bethel, New York. The best besides by What It Is. And I think that's just about it. Laurel Canyon, Santa Barbara, A, a, a Key Serene Trail Freestyle number two. Just don't do it for me as much as they should. Kind of just, you know, all sound the same. Don't offer that content, like I said. But I wish those songs were a little different and I wish this was released earlier in the summer. Those are my biggest issues with this project. But overall as a sound, it's enjoyable, very enjoyable. I do like the sound. Um, I do want some different songs from Jaden in the future. I do want him to go back to the rapping style like Sire and Iris. And I think, I think from what I've heard, that is what he's going to do. And I'm very excited for that. I just, I just realized I forgot one song on here. Uh, I'll talk about it quickly. Cabin Fever from the Hill. It's just Cabin Fever just slowed. It's that psychedelic style. It's, you know, it's it's good for what it is. This song, Cabin Fever from the Hill, I've heard it, I've heard it plenty of times. It's good for what it is. It's very slow. It's just Cabin Fever slowed. Very, very slowed. Um, a little bit of different lyrics at the end, different flow, different lyrics at the end, but it's just Cabin Fever slowed. You know, it's, it's, it's relaxing. It's that psychedelic, nice, relaxing sound. Kind of like, kind of like a lot of the other songs in here, Santa Barbara and Laurel, and Laurel Canyon. Um, Bye is a very good song though. Bye and Your Voice slash Bethel, New York. Very, very good songs. Um, overall as a project, um, I think it's good. I think it's good. It's not, it's not as good as I expected, but it's, it is still pretty good. And I do enjoy this project. I do enjoy this sound as well. Thank you for watching. Drop your thoughts on this project down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.